Some days I just really be wanting to leave Earth, man. Is the dating pool that toxic? And I don't want to like put on my tinfoil hat for this video. I totally think that she's a prostitute. She is foul. It she need a bigger shirt on. Has some decorum. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? You know what time it is. Rants with Aunt Damn It. Back here. Kendra G, another one of those. Brace yourself for moments. I don't really know what this one's about, but we're just going to jump right into it. Hey. Hey. What's your name, boo? My name is Yay Nay. Your name it's is your what? It's your favorite broke fatty. My name is Yay Nay. Make sure you say the yay before you put the nay. Now your favorite broke baddie? <laughs> nah, I knew this shit was gonna be ratchet. I ain't, nah, this shit is too good. Here we go. Yay, yeah, how old are you? I'm 35. Okay, what you do for a living? I'm an entertainer. I'm a comedian by trade. Oh, I you're a you, That's how you pay your bills? Yeah, that's how I pay my bills. So we got Yay Nay, 35. And where you calling us from? Hey. Where you calling us from, baby? I'm calling from New Jersey, Atlantic City. Oh, God. The okay. so real Jersey Shore. Yay, yeah, Nay, do you have any kids? No. No kids. Have you ever been married? Right. No. <laughs> so we got Yay, Nay. Does she give you wife um, energy? 35. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a sage. So we got Yay, Nay, 35, Sagittarius, entertainer. Um, definitely from the hood. Definitely a project baby. Definitely am. Okay. Proud of it too, because I don't live there no more. What I meant? Wow. No, somebody says she definitely from the hood. I definitely am from the hood. Oh, she definitely give hood rat energy. I wasn't going to say nothing. I was trying to be respectful. Since she brought it up, let's address the elephant in the room. I was trying to see if she got any chest tattoos. She just give me mad aggressive energy. Murphy Holmes Projects to be exact. Big Baltimore. Oh, shit. All right. Definitely don't live in the hood no more. Definitely made sure I worked hard to keep myself up out of it. Definitely didn't get an education. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'm looking for somebody a little ratchet. He could probably have like three, four baby mothers as long as he's slanging that slug knob. The fuck? So hold up. I know she says she a comedian, but like, is she serious? Has some decorum. So you want good sex? <laughs> that's it. And that's all. Pull up three o'clock in the morning when I call. Oh, she dead okay, ass. Okay, so you want somebody's baby daddy? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I love fucking on a bitch baby dad. Fuck our baby. When are we going to have the conversation? Like, y'all got to stop exploiting these people. Y'all know exactly what y'all doing when y'all put these people on these goddamn cameras. We need some regulations around here. But I have a question. Is there actually a song that says, F my baby daddy? Yes. Sexy Red. Sexy Red has a song called F my baby yes. daddy? Yes. Some days I just really be wanting to leave Earth, man. And this is one of them days. You know what's the crazy part about this whole thing right here? So there's a debate going on on Twitter right now where they're basically the Nelly's tip drill video where he took the credit card and swiped it down the girl's ass. They're trying to say that that is not as wild as what Sexy Red is doing. And I'm like, she has a lip gloss called Discharge. Do y'all not see what's wrong with that? And I understand, like, be who the fuck you are, but, like, old girl right here is probably putting some sauce on top of it. Even though she might be dead ass in what she's saying, because she do look a little off, like, there's a little twinkle in her eye. Something ain't right. How does it go? It go, I'm a fine ass bitch. I ain't in a house, there. Who know it? Somebody sing it, say it. Fuck my baby dad, okay? I really wanted to say something profound, but that is the dumbest shit ever. Even Kendra's confused. Look. So here's the deal. You already told us you're a comedian. Right. So do you really mean these things, or are you just trying to be I funny? I'm really so serious. Like, I really have to keep myself focused on the money. So if I call and if I get a dude, it's only that 3 o'clock in the morning. You're not staying a night. 
We're going to be done about 5, 45, 6 o'clock, and you need to go. See, this is the thing. I don't know if I could take her serious. Who in their right mind would go online and embarrass themselves like this? But we do live in the clout era. This is the clickbait era. Everybody going to do everything just to get their name out there. What are your deal breakers? My deal breakers is you being broke and you having the diseases. Other than that, we Gucci. Sounds very escortish. Now, listen, I ain't judging. Get your money. But this sounds very, very sketchy. What's broke to you? Broke to me is not having more than I have. The fuck is she talking about? You live in Atlantic City. And listen, I'm from Jersey, born and bred. But, like, let's not make it seem like you live in some goddamn palace in Atlantic City. It's a goddamn casino town. I'm going to just leave that alone. Do your research about casino towns, man. Girl, we, we don't care about that. I got food right in between my legs. Hmm. Three o'clock in the morning. Can you survive off of eating vagina only? I'm sure he can survive off of eating that. Just drink some water. I just want better for my people, yo. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Kendra Cam is when you stand up and we see your full body. She don't even she don't even know how to goddamn show go. Where the fuck did this woman come? This is what I'm saying. Here we go. What the uh, fuck? The whole big bitch. This the Holy shit. <laughs> you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to say what I really want to say. I feel like she's some like only fan chick that's like trying to like recruit dudes out here because all of the things that she's saying sounds like very escortish. Three o'clock in the morning. You got to have some money. The crazy part is she don't even care about no other part of your life. This shit is wow. Call it what it is. Like we got to start being real out here, yo. This shit is foul, yo. <laughs> she is foul. And she need a bigger shirt on because that's not her size. Big dump truck right here, sis. Ooh. That's me. So when you know when you coming over, it's all bad shots. It's all Bet shot straight bow 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 bow. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and that's gonna carry it. Oh shit, she done broke What's something. That? Little little ratchet ass done broke something. Look at this shit. Ooh, got any miles? This is Yay Nay. Yay Nay. So Yay Nay, when was your last relationship? My last relationship was six years ago. I think you've been single for six years. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Can I answer that? Kendra, let me, let, let, let me answer. Kendra, come on, yo. Call me. Because I don't got time for the BS. No, you are the BS. <laughs> what the fuck is this woman? Oh, my God. Yo, this has to be the biggest troll yet. Ain't no way somebody's daughter is out here on the internet. Actually, there might be. Y'all need to hug your daughters, man. When Yay, was nay. the last time you was intimate with someone? Word. It's been about 60 days. It's two months. Okay. This is a hood rat if I've ever seen one. And then you wonder why, like, people don't want to have kids, right? Because it's like, look at who people are left to mate with. <laughs> if it's not about that nut at 3 o'clock in the morning or that bank account rising, we just don't care. Prostitute. Can we bring back Shane? We got to bring back Shane. And, th and there, there you have it. Like, but put up at three o'clock in the morning and that will do you just fine that's gonna give me what i need once i put that call and i need you to pull up 15 minutes or less yo so her coochie's a drive-thru this is weird yo i like these though because it goes to show you that there are weirder people out there and clearly there's somebody for everybody i guarantee you she probably got a date maybe five maybe ten i don't know but it's mad prostitute vibes yo. that was the weirdest shit ever who the fuck does that anyway y'all get in the comment box let me know what y'all think is this escort vibes or what i'm fucking out of here